Good morning, everybody. It is, what do we got here? It's just going on 9 a.m. on Friday. What is it? The 28th. <clears throat> Man, first month almost over. Um, finishing up the week. I've got uh, your gardeners out there, blowers and crap going. It's a Friday morning. It's always a noisy morning in the neighborhood. But just took the boys for a quick walk and... Uh, and they they visited every little spot that they love and uh, did their business. And now I'm going to do this and then go down and feed them. Um, I had a great time yesterday with Steve Lukather and Joe Williams. Went over to Joe's house uh, and uh, overdubbed bass parts on three tracks um, for Luke on his new album. And uh, man, some great songs that they've written that they're writing and uh, yeah, really fun. It was just so nice to, I, I miss those, those, those kids, you know, so it was really great to be uh, hanging out with them. And Luke and I always end up reflecting on, you know, 45 years of friendship and playing together. So it's, it's one of those things we get, we, we, we really get nostalgic when we get together, but it, in a good way, it's, it's not like, oh God, the, wish it was kind of thing, but just always thinking about how much fun we've had over the years together. And, and Joe's just great. So it was cool. And then, and then uh, Luke's son, Trevor, came over and he hung out uh, with us too. And uh, apparently he wrote a song and produced it on the album. Uh, so <clears throat> I didn't get, get a chance to uh, hear that. He was just bringing over some parts that he did that they were going to uh, insert on the stuff, but I didn't play on that track. But I was just kind of thinking, you know, how to how to wind down this week, and I was thinking about a project that I got uh, called to do with some really really dear friends um, uh, some time back, and it was really really a fun project, and kind of wallowed for a long time until it got picked up. Um, but uh, I thought I would play a couple of tracks from it just to just to finish Friday off finish the uh, official part of the week off and it was a group called TRW and in it's the great Michael Thompson on guitar John Robinson J.R. Robinson on drums and Mark Williamson on vocals and and on other tracks bass and guitar and all kinds of stuff but that's it it's Thompson Robinson and Williamson <coughs> excuse me um, the album was called Rivers of Paradise and it was released in 2007. Now, Michael Thompson, I've done so many records with over the years, and the same with John Robinson. I mean, we still work together on a regular basis, and we've been together um, for decades. And when I first started touring with Veronique Sanson in France, Mark Williamson, uh, he's British, and he came in and he was uh, doing playing rhythm guitar and, and singing uh, background vocals with her. But he, I featured Mark. I, I did a solo album with Mark uh, many years ago. And um, I featured that uh, on, a, on an earlier video. But this is the group that the guys put together. And I, you know, I, and I just, I would always ask him, I said, whatever happened in that stuff we cut? And um, like I said, it just, it kind of wallowed for a long time. But uh, I had a, a cassette copy of it, and I would drive around in my truck and listen to it and just go, God, this shit's good. It's really good. So I thought I'd just play a couple of tracks from that for you now. Uh, so it's called TRW is the name of the um, band. That's how it's on the album, and it's Rivers of Paradise. So here we go. Here's a song called Hold On. Step you here. This is only for 
in the meantime, keep the check on that rising fade. You live your life as the other man, and say you quit any time you can. It's gonna tear you up, you know. You can't find the strength to let go. Sweating with deceiving Do you make the other side of town? It's like <clears throat> three of the best players in town, certainly. Man, Michael Thompson is like on just so many, so many records. You know, it's just got his very distinctive style and sound. And JR is just, you know, he's just a, one of the great workhorses in this business. I mean, from his days with uh, playing with Rufus, with Shaka Khan and stuff. So, and Mark is just, just great pipes and just great energy. It was so much fun touring with him. So here's a, here's a song called Set My Spirit Free. We cut all this stuff. I mean, it was released in 2007, but we cut this um, a number of years before that, I believe. Um, and, and like I said, just sat there until somebody finally picked it up for him. So here we are. This is Rivers of Paradise, Set My Spirit Free. <laughs> Baby, I 
need you Like the desert needs the rain Depend on you like the earth needs the sun. Since I met you, baby, my life has just begun. You're still the fear in me, satisfy my soul and set my spirit. Apparently the way they put that on YouTube, it cuts it right off, but uh, it, it continued on. Um, but uh, there's a whole bunch of great songs on this album. If you can dig it up, TRW, um, it's, it's really a good album, Rivers of Paradise, uh, so worth checking out. And I was also just thinking about when um, I went in the studio with Michael Thompson's daughter, Sahara, Thompson and, and recorded with her and it's it's always great now when guys you you know love working with all of a sudden their kids grow up and they're artists too and you get to work with them you know it's like being with Luke yesterday and having Trevor there it's uh it's just really great when I work with Russ Kunkel and his son Nathaniel who's one of the great engineers uh, in our business uh, you know and, and sitting in the studio and hearing Nate, go, hey, Dad, go go around the toms one more time. And you're just going, wow, I remember when you were born. It's just a trip. So um, I'm just going to get going, keeping this one short. I've got to head over to somebody's house to do an interview. They have a home studio set up, and they were saying, oh, do you want me to come to your house to do an interview? And I said, how are you set up? And they went, oh, yeah, we're all, I said, I'll come over to your place. It's not that far from me. So I'm going to run over and do that, do a little promo about different things in the band, about the immediate family, and guys are in the studio. I'm going to be going in the studio next week to work on some songs with the guys, and um, we're trying to get two projects finished up, and uh, it's just, it's so just fun and inspiring to be with the guys, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, and that's it, and I'm going to, once again, I'm going to say Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who's, you know, putting themselves in harm's way every day to try to keep uh, the, this ship afloat. And, uh, and I haven't been, you know, going crazy, you know, over this stuff. But boy, yes, you know, um, you know I'm, I'm trying to encourage people to get a vaccination. You know, I mean, everybody I know that's been vaccinated, that's been put in harm's way is fine. I have other people I know that didn't get vaccinated that are in ICUs and their their future is very questionable at this point. But I had some guy come on yesterday, you know, just, you know, came on and talked about, you know, how full of, completely full of shit I am talking about vaccinations and it's all fake and crap. And it was really hostile. And I just... 
I just don't have patience for that, you know. I mean, if you don't feel that way, fine, but, you know, you start, you know, personal attacking and stuff. So I just blocked him. I could care less at this point. My patience is, is run as thin as my hairline. Um, so I think, th I think a vax is the right thing to do. If you don't feel it is, fine. It's, it's your prerogative. You're just holding back society from getting out of this hole. And chances are you're going to also negate your chance to go out and do a lot of things when they're going to start when they start requiring proof of vaccination and you're not allowed in. I know guys that have been kicked out of bands that they were in for years because they went down that route and refused to get vaccinated and they and they got fired uh, from the bands. <laughs> just think about it. There's a, a lot more than just taking your, your stand on that. So I'm going to get going here. I'll see you uh, tomorrow on the weekend. We'll find some more stuff. But Again, um, TRW, Michael Thompson, John Robinson, and Mark Williamson. Love those guys and love that project. So check it out. And I will talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.